What's up, everyone? I'm Dev Dog Devin, and welcome to another episode of Designing Labs. Will class help you complete the challenge of designing a memorable logo in just a moment? or laugh at our designs in just a moment. Today's special guest client is none other than the floor. The floor? You had the floor. Who are we designing for today? Well, sir, uh, first of all, <laughs> I'm sorry, it kind of caught me. You kind of rhymed and you wasn't even thinking about it, but it just caught me. I guard said, the floor, you got the floor. That's that's fine. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. That's off the dome, man. It's off the dome. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got a I got a crazy sense of humor. So when you said that, just caught me <laughs> right, uh, Good, good, good. So uh, my, my business is called the, the, um, the Three Legged Dog That Can't Race. The three-legged dog that can't race. Now, you said the three-legged dog that can't race, and I say it can. Before you get into the story about who you uh about more about the company, I like to do a little icebreaker and try to see if I can guess based off of what the name is all along. You know, for shits and giggles, basically. So, uh, when I think of the names three-legged dog that can't race, right? Participation kind of like a trophy kind of thing or something. Yes, so, so it's 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 a bit similar to that. Um, what? What? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't. It's, I was just taking the shot. And, excuse me, one second. Uh huh. <laughs> First time for everything, bro. No worries. Now nah, you good. Now nah, you good. Ain't no worries. <laughs> we paid the bills, y'all. So lights are still on. <laughs> All right, we back. Excuse me. So what were you, were you saying? Fun? So yeah, so your your wild guess was basically a, a bit of, you know, what we're heading towards. Um just to give you a, a little bit of so um uh, even though we said the three-legged dog that can't race, uh, the 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 understanding comes from that old phrase, uh, underdogs. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, so we we always take uh, we always take uh, for granted the underdogs. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's like, so we're not saying per se that it the dog can't race. We're saying that that dog is not given a chance to race because of his disability. Hmm. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? So uh, we're just, we're a company trying to, uh, you know, sponsor disabled dogs and not just that, you know, disabled folks who want to participate in curricular activities that involve physical movements, like, you know, uh, the Olympics and, you know, and other, other forms of physical, you know, movement and all, you know. So you got folks that are smaller and taller in different ways that just form and disformed in some 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 way somehow. So we just we're a sponsor place where we just want to just give folks that opportunity to participate in places and events that deems them un um, unable. Okay, opportunities. You know I saying? hear you. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. Like what? made you create this company because that's a, such a um a service that's uh not fulfilled you know um that uh you know obviously that you are fulfilling but like i'm just curious of like, how did this uh um company come to be well man so uh it started off with uh my father so my father i had um I had dogs all my life growing okay. up and um 
every one of my dogs uh, passed because my father all oh, just uninst- <laughs> unintentionally just <laughs> killed them. <laughs> uh... I'm, I'm using a broad. I'm using a broad word, but just like they just killed my my first dog. Uh, he had a bad habit of always. Uh, uh, running under somebody's vehicle, and my dad didn't know, so my dad's back and back and all this stuff. Like, and we what? found out my dog, my dog's name is Simba. Simba got okay. ran over. Okay, Simba. That's my favorite dog, named by one of my favorite movies, Lion King. Simba. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. So I had a couple of dogs that my dad just took out this world, and um. <laughs> And whenever I whenever I saw them, it was always their leg, that one leg that was crushed. Okay. Every dog that I had, each leg was always crushed in some way. So it's funny, but at the same time, if you think about it, all my dogs have the they of course they're they're gone here, but they all have this right. disabled with just three legs. So I just thought about it, like, hey, why don't we create a company that, you know, that focuses on people who are unable to participate in specific events due to their disability? Hence, the three-legged dog that can't race. I love how, like, it's metaphorically a three-legged dog, literally, but it's for people as opposed to it being strangulated. Right off the bat, oh, it's a dog for th- for dogs. Like, no, it's a companionship for both of the, both the person yeah. and for. And I like that. That's dope, man. That's really cool. I see yeah, bro. I, I see it's for all your dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> my literal dogs and my and my OGs. You know what I'm saying? My exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, big dogs. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I have a question, man. What's up? Like, we know who the target audience is based off of you telling me a story behind it is. What would be the challenging, I'm sorry, what would be the challenge when it comes to uh, you reaching your target audience? Like, are you having any issues when it comes to actually getting people to be involved with the company? So, um, some folks think it's ridiculous. Some folks think so. I've, I've dealt with some apples and I've dealt with some oranges, right? Okay. So I dealt with some naysayers and I dealt with some folks who say, oh, they're, you know, we want to participate in this. We want to put our hands on this too and see where it goes. All right. But, you know, those folks um, put it like this. I've, I've had on and off people who wish All to right. participate with this, but it seems like I would have to do the majority of the work versus the work being shared amongst me and others who want to see this idea come to fruition. So it's it's really more so just me um, sponsoring this, but uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting some sponsors added to my cars just to see where it goes, to see where it takes us. You know, it's something okay. small, something small, but something small can turn into something big. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely. That's all big companies start off as small. They don't start off big. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it, if it starts off big, then somebody, you must have a parent that's just making, that's making over, well over 500000 a year. And they just made it easy for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, but realistically, even the people with that kind of money, bro, trust me, they starting off small and building it up so they can make the money, make the business make money for them first before they can start going too big. So absolutely. I get what you're saying. Absolutely. I don't yeah, know if so you that's... know about how I'm sorry. No, you, you go, go ahead. No, I'm good. You go ahead. All right. I don't know if you know much about the podcast, but on this podcast, we um also do this thing where we talk about the business in another split in another way where <clears throat> we talk about the design process, right? And with the okay. design process, um, depending on what the actual outcome of what you're trying to get, um, determines uh the actual results so basically let's say for example on today's podcast you know since you're talking about uh 
the three-legged dog that can't race. Let's say today we were going to design a logo for you, but today's the logo will be different than uh, normal. Let's say we would design a badge logo for you today. What would be the th- what would be an element that you would like to add to that badge design for today's challenge? Hmm, interesting. Well, with that being said, like it just it just hit my head. I can um I could see uh definitely see a man, a man, a woman, you know, a man with a um um what would you call that a prosthetic leg okay and of course you got a dog some dogs that are disabled they uh they have a uh, um a bit of a contraption that they lay on and it, there's wheels to substitute for that missing part of their body so oh, i see a man <laughs> yeah yeah so i see a man walking and um with his little prosthetic leg and he's walking his dog that's on wheels. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I just see I see that being the face element logo in which this you know which gives the image of where we're trying to go. Okay. All right. I like what you I mean uh that you have an idea for what you want to go with it. Uh we definitely will will explore and see about that. How about we do this for today's challenge? Mm-hmm. Um with that being said, I was thinking uh, to make it uh, clear and concise, what if we were to a uh, um, take one of those, uh, those images that you try to do and try to combine it together to make a logo or an icon, a, a mark, if you will. So between yeah. the leg or the prosthetic, uh, sorry, between the prosthetic leg, prosthetic leg, or the uh, dog that's on the um, Sunday. Uh, the bed, mm-hmm. which um, one would you like to choose between? I'd rather choose the the dog on the bed. Whoa! All right, we got some. This is gonna be challenging. All right, so we're gonna do the dog on the bed. It's gonna be a badge design, and mm-hmm. that's gonna be a, already a nice, nice little element right there. And uh, we're gonna get into to the to the to, to, to the design of it, man. Let's get right yeah. into it, bro, because this part. Is really where we're really going to chance to see, you know, um, what we can do to help you uh, be able to fulfill your needs. So like right now, you're talking about you being um, a solo and you're building it out. So let's see if we can be able to uh, show um, and literally visually what uh, a three legged dog that can't run is. Uh, vi- through visuals. Uh, with that being said, uh, let's get started, and man, and let's uh share the screen and uh start to design it. Now today, today's uh challenge, bro. Um, normally we do it for ten minutes, and guess what? You're in luck because we're only doing it for ten minutes again as well. So sweet, <laughs> and you know, <laughs> letting you know, bro. Uh, I'm with it. Keep in mind, we are on a time crunch, but we're going to get started now. Timer let's starts go, now. All right, bro. So look, we're doing designing a badge, right? So what kind of shape would you like to see the badge to be designed in first? Um, hmm, that's a good question. We can go with the, for right now, as a, like a little rough job, we can just do the uh, typical, uh, we could do the polygon or we could do a circle between a circle and a polygon. All right, let's try a polygon because I feel like circle is too overly like, used. Like a um, cliche. Yeah, <laughs> that's usually the most <laughs> most basic. Very, uh, so let's do this. Okay. And okay, let's think about the words. So with this being a badge logo, we can choose different fonts, but uh, it's up to you. But what are you thinking about when it comes to the fonts choices, bro? Um, Let's see here. I'm not really... Uh, uh, you know, how about this? also too, so you can see. And how about this? Bigger. Something, um, uh, hmm, as far as font goes, I think that should that should suffice there. Is, is that 48? Yes, yeah, I just messed it though. No worries. Here we go. Yeah. All right, um, okay, 
the three-legged dog that can't run, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want it to be spelled out, or do you want it to be uh, the letter? It it could be uh, it could be uh, the the number three. Okay, three-legged. All right, bro. By the way, we are designing the getter, bro. So please. Help me out, bro. We're designing oh, yeah. oh, this, yeah. ain't, this ain't me uh, designing by myself. Hey. Look, hey, look, I look, hey, this this is like I feel like this is an improv two moment where you, you gave me this idea. Well, I'm giving you this idea, but we're designing the logo. And I was actually gonna talk to somebody down the line about you know designing the logo, but since we talking about it, I'm like, oh shit, all right, we about to make it on the fly. Absolutely. Let's do it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That's what we do on the show. Yeah, let's let's do it. I'm with it. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that uh, can't. That can't raise. That can't raise. All right. So right now, bro, we only got like seven and a half minutes left, bro. Okay. So we gotta get going. Oh yeah. All right. Wow. Three minutes went by that fast. My God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That just goes to show oh, you that's that what, time's that's... definitely not on our side. Exactly. So. Yeah. Uh, three legged dog that can't race. Uh, you you got a uh, any ideas of how our sponsor goes? Um, let's see here. Uh, can you pull up the font? Let's see here. Oh, oh, you you just passed something. You want you uh, want you the scary look? Is that what you were trying to go? Yeah, yeah, go a little bit. Of, yeah, go a bit of like oh, no. a, not scary, but it's like a scary look. Yeah, I saw Something it. That, I don't yeah, know where did it go? Like you just had it. Yeah, it's up in this area, but I don't know where it went, though. I don't see it now. <laughs> it's all good, bro. We'll, we'll keep moving then because we're running out of time. We... Uh, yeah, something on, yep, something on one like that. That uh, 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 Objective regular. You, you can try that one. You want, you want to try it? We could, yeah, we can try it. And this is a place. Yeah. Right? It definitely does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It gives me like some like some um, Looney Tunes type of. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with it. All right. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Hold on a second. Let me just do this. Let's uh do that. Make sure that's in front. Hold on. Bam. All right. This is sweet, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm glad you you uh you're liking what you've seen so far. Hold on a second. Now, yeah, this... yeah. Well, no, we we just getting started. Uh -huh. uh, let's get the uh, All right. Uh, let's see. What can we do? Let's change this color. It's in black as of right now. Let's change it to something else so you can see it. Let's okay. change it to white. All right, bro. So. Now that we got that situated, there we go. The dog that can. All right, we got to make it definitely smaller, definitely, <laughs> so you can yeah. fit it in there. Bro, we got five minutes left. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, uh, man. I don't know how we're going to create a badge in this amount of time, but we're trying. Oh, no, uh, is there if there a way can we um can we round the uh the corners that first yeah if no 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 not round the corner um round the um the, the words the phrase to fit inside the hexagon the, the polygons that way is you know what I'm saying yeah absolutely absolutely we're we, we're gonna make it fit in there so, so it fits the shape better definitely uh, yeah. I'm just trying to uh, give me a second bro I got you take it take it time, I just was. Shoot, time is out on our side right now, though. <laughs> hey, look, look, take the time that you got. <laughs> yeah, right, there you go. Right, 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 right. Use it wisely. <laughs> so let's say we uh, use a right. three-legged dog that can't race. So what do you think? I think the word dog needs to be bigger, though, bro. Mm -hmm. It said... Don't hesitate to give me your input, bro. Said, oh, I'm not. I'm looking. Her. Yeah, yeah. No, I, oh, yeah. I'm. I'm with it. If I got any objections, trust me, I'm gonna vocalize it. But thus far, I'm. Oh, I'm, but I'm, I'm saying though, but but give me some input as we design too, though, bro. You oh, know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I got you. 
Okay. Um, Doug Henry's. So, what are you saying? Doug Henry's. Okay, the dog. The... So right now I'm trying to play camera. with the with the wording as far as what what uh, reads properly. That's what we need to focus on right now because yeah, we need to make sure that. So I definitely want to put like a definitely want to like a put like a, definitely a picture of a dog somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. It's like a small printed picture of a dog, like a dog's face in here. So that's what you want because I think yeah, definitely. Okay, I mean, we'll, we'll we'll try it, bro. But I just think that uh, if you go so literal, it might you know you might uh miss out on some people. However, we'll definitely give it a shot, bro. We'll definitely give it a shot. I, I, I see what you're saying. So so basically, to be too literal, you giving folks like a closed mind of one of one objective versus yeah, and then it might not I get stand what you're out saying. Really. Okay, you know what? Necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I like that. No, that that makes sense. That makes sense. We well, you know what? Scratch the dog picture then, because I like I like this. I'm with it. The three legged dog that can't race. So we're still playing yeah. with the sizing of it, but something along. Three legged uh, dog. Okay. Oh yeah. Hold on, I'm trying to. I'm gonna play with the. The reading of it. Oh my god, like we got two minutes, bro. We got two minutes. Ah, uh, well, thus far, I'm liking it. See, my my clothes in mind, all I thought about was just having it like everything centered. But the way this is designed, the way you're placing it, uh, the phrases in different areas, it's definitely, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I oh, definitely yeah, like it. Gotta play with the hierarchy so you can get the, the, the read to be right, you know, so it, it reads. Um, you understand, like what's going on? Yeah. The dog yeah. Race. Something That's like fine. that. But I gotta play with it a little bit more. Okay. All right, bro. So we literally got two minutes left, and not even two minutes. We got one minute, bro. If we are gonna put a, like a mark on it, we said we're gonna put a mark, right? So yeah, let's just do this. Let's just do this real quick. Oh crap. Okay. All what right, you got in mind? I don't know, bro. We're going to try to use some AI real quick, and we're just going to stick with what you said from originally. You said you want a dog, right? Yes, sir. Let's try... Um, happy dog. You definitely got to have a happy dog. Face. There we go. Happy dog face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got oh, we got thirty four seconds left, bro. Are we gonna? Oh, make we it? we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. I'm just hoping right. that this line can can reach the other side before thirty seconds is over. <laughs> For real, we're at twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. Oh, 16. oh, let's go, let's go, blue line. <laughs> let's go, blue line. Let's Come go. on, let's go. we really are pushing it <laughs> to the wire right now. Oh man. <laughs> like I'm trying I wanna grab this Ooh, we got, we got so bad all right, just, just get it. come on yeah, let's one. Go. all right hey. Whoa, well, we all didn't right, get a place though so what we didn't get a place so we're technically not completely finished but I'm just gonna give it give us that little grace period and just say we're gonna place it on here and we're just gonna keep keep it this with one and that's what we're gonna roll with okay I'm with so, it so you got you a happy dog face at least to go with it and you actually got a badge that was designed. I yeah. Hold on, bro. Uh let's see. Uh I want that. I want this stuff right here. And let's play with his sizing a little bit so that it reads better. Ah, that's perfect. And that's then, perfect. Well, We'll recenter it. The dog that can't race. Yes. The three so the three leg dog that can't race. What you think, bro? Yeah, I like that, bro. You, you like do? That. You know, seriously, I like that. 
What you like I about like it? That. Well, for one, like but, hold on one so, second before you do that, bro. I just gotta uh, give you your props first and foremost. Uh, this ain't something easy, and I wanted to say thank you for coming on. You didn't know exactly what was what you were getting into, and uh, you was not only excited about it, but you and you you jumped right on into it and you said, "Hey, man, all right, I'm gonna do what I can." So I appreciate you for that, bro. <laughs> With that Absolutely. being said, I need to know: Is this a memorable logo? Because that's the whole po- purpose of the of the of the podcast is designing you a memorable logo. So. Mm-hmm. I need to know, is it memorable? So we're going to test it right now. Mm-hmm. Tell me one thing that you can remember about the logo right now. About the logo? Well, yeah, in detail. In detail. Well, it's just, first of all, it's it's the thought. You know, everybody can't see what we're doing. Or be, not, every, not everybody will just see the work being put and the mindset being put in trying to put that logo together. So... To be the uh, the architect, to us being the architect to this logo, it is is it just warms my heart because at first um, I had a different logo in mind, um, okay. but it, it it probably was going to be just a regular logo, and I'm, and I'm not good at like I used to draw when I was a kid, but. I, I threw that gift away because I didn't take it seriously. So to put something like that together is not my area of expertise. But okay. for you to help me put that together, the elements and and how to portray the vision, far as one the the font that we chose not not right. even just the font but the uh the um what do you call that the uh the type of um the words the word style that we used. Oh, you mean play, the, the type of font? Yeah, yeah, the type font. So the so uh it's so to play with the phrase uh the three leg dog that can't race, it was perfect. I thought that was perfect. It has a bit of a loony to it because it, it gave me the impression, like I said, loony tunes. And then you got a cartoon dog that's happy. It gives it even more of a a happy, like looney tune, funny type of vibe. So for this to be presented to people, it's automatically demonstrating the the uh, the presentation of happiness. I got you. I got you. So you you're, you're breaking it, it down very well, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. It's just you want to, any product that you give, you you want to motivate your customers to want to grab onto it. So with the presentation that's been presented here. It's a perfect uh, outlook on motivating customers to want to reach out to this organization and say, hey, like everywhere I go, I want to participate in this. I want to participate in that. I saw your logo. I see this happy dog. I don't want to take it literal, but I just want to get some more information on what this place is about. And that's going to motivate people to want to come in and just, just see what we're all about. Exactly. That's what it's about. It's opening the doors and getting the conversation started. Absolutely. Absolutely. Man, yeah. I, I man, I was so geeked. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that looks amazing. I need to know. Do you think this is a memorable logo or not? I don't know. Absolutely. Uh, watching. What do you guys think as well? Um, let us know. Put leave it in the comments. Let us know if you think it's a memorable logo. Um uh, our uh, <clears throat> special guest client today says so. Um, um, I think it is, it's a memorable logo. Uh, let's go back to the screen, share the screen, bro. And uh, mm-hmm. I got some more I want to talk to you more about. So, yeah, first and foremost, bro, man, you you said it well. I, I think uh, you articulated very well as far as being able to say that uh, – this is really going to get the people to look at it and say, hmm, it's, it's, uh, I memorable. Yeah. It made me want to look more into what, what's going on. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. that's what you want. That's really what you want. Um, with that being said, bro, I think it's a memorable logo. So let's see how this logo would look. Um, if we flush it all the way out 
let's make sure we get the colors right first, and then let's mm -hmm. move on to the next phase of the process. Absolutely. All right. So, with that being said, uh, do you? I like the shape of the heptagon. I think we should keep it, bro. What do you? Yeah, think? we should definitely. Yeah, we definitely keep it because, uh, like I said, the do, going with the cliche usual circle. Nah, yeah, this was. This is definitely the perfect shape. I mean, we can play with other shapes. We can do something like a rectangle. It would go straight. It would do it more like. Nah, nah, we good with <laughs> this. Yeah, you like this yeah. shape? <laughs> yeah, we good with this one, bro. Because, uh, like, when you think about a dog, like, uh, um, what do you call? It? I, I just had a quick brain fart. What do you, what do you okay. call those things? Those red things where dogs normally go towards and just urinate on. On, oh, the, on the, the corner. Yeah. No, 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 not the cones. It, uh, water comes out of it. Oh, the fire hydrants. Fire, yeah. So the, the, uh, the like shape idea was coming from a fire hydrant and fire okay. hydrant and dogs. I saw the correlation together and the presentation for the picture was going to be something similar to that. So looking at this. What if you made perfect. a fire hydrant red? Yeah. That would, yeah. Now, but does it give it a different a feel to it though? When you do it though, does it make you feel like it's danger though? Uh no, I I think it's cool. Now, I, um, if there was a way to, if we can get like some, maybe like some circling dots on each tip, you know what I'm saying? On each um tip of the shape, like some circular dots. I'm listening. It's like some circular, it's like I said, circular little small dots, not not big, not loud, but just something noticeable. Okay, to what you mean? You feel like it's you feel like it's missing something? You feel like? Yeah, like I said, um, when you look at a fire hydrant, they got the knots that's keeping the uh the top of the uh the piece in oh, place. Oh, you're you're saying you want to add that element into this to make it look like yeah. this is like a, a part of a fire hydrant. Yeah. Why don't you just? Why don't I wouldn't add dots to it because what if anything? If you want to do that, I would just do something like this. this okay. Is, this is just an idea. Okay. If you're trying to articulate that idea, which is pretty cool, I think that's a, actually a brilliant idea, bro. And we didn't even supposed to be going on board designing more than we we're supposed to be. <laughs> we're supposed to be going to this part. So look, look, we're gonna yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. Just for this, just for today. But normally we don't do that afterwards. But so I'm going to finish this the idea out. And I, I'm going to show you what uh, my idea is that I think that you're trying to, to trying to do. Yeah. So let's. Yeah, uh, I, I appreciate this. Hey man, I, I'm enjoying myself just as much as you are, bro. I really am. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. This... I can see this on t-shirts too, man. Uh, you you actually could use it for like, shirts and different kind of things like that. And uh, let's say let's see. all right. So let's uh do here and there, and then uh let's uh hold on. I need a better place to put that at. <laughs> Um, let's go to uh, uh, make it worse. Nope, there's that. Uh, there's a up the stroke a little bit, and then like. What I would say is like you could do this where it's like the the lines to represent okay. like the lines on a on a what do you call it? On a Johnny Pump as they call it in New York. <laughs> okay. And the so like you could do that. And uh. Hold on a second. Something like maybe like that to represent that it's a mm -hmm. keep putting in the wrong spot where I don't want it. 
Nah, but I like it so far. Yeah, yeah, man. I was like, there's that. And then we'll do it like this. So we got that selected. Then we're going to go ahead and do the same things over here. Bam. And then what you could do is take this and well, I don't feel like I'm doing too much design, but basically that's what it would look yeah. like. So you could do something like okay. that where it simulates yeah. that it's a shape, but it's like zoomed in on the fire hydrant. So it's like it's like yeah. a poster almost like. Yeah, no, I like no, I like that. I like that. Man. I should do this though. You, bro, you oh, make me want to buy you make me want to buy a dog right now, man. <laughs> like, you like, man, <laughs> like I need to just... <laughs> he said, I gotta go get wanna... me some more damn dogs right now. Man, <laughs> I gotta get me a dog. About to, hey, I'm about to go visit some type of shelter and see if they got a golden retriever just hanging out around like someplace. Hey, I hear you on that though, bro. <laughs> You're like, man, I need a little a little buddy right now. You know what I'm saying? It's just, look, yeah, exactly. <laughs> man, that's fine. That's bro. it right there, bro. That's the final yeah. design. That's the color. Man. So for yours, bro, since it is a memorable logo, I think it stands out. As a badge alone, let's see how it would look on a product. All right. So okay. let's uh now go over here and see how it would look on a real mock-up. Uh, you were saying something about a, a shirt. What do you think about yeah. um? Uh, uh, is there certain colors you would like this shirt to be? Uh, well, I can just see it uh, being on any type of. So basically, uh, well, the the color for this uh, this logo here, it will change uh, based off the shirt's color. So you got your blacks. I, I think it go hard on black. It go hard on red. Definitely go hard on blue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. So um, what would you like? Let's just do, try a black T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Black. Not black. Not blank. Black. <laughs> black. <laughs> black T. We don't want it blank. <laughs> right. Black T-shirt. <laughs> and uh, you want it to be for like men's women or anything like that or you wouldn't need, yeah. need have anything um like unisex it could be definitely unisex so definitely unisex uh-huh un t-shirt unisex let's try see what it pops up and then we'll place it on it and see how it looks all right man i'm, in. I'm excited <laughs> now man. I might have to change some parameters in here to see if it comes out looking better uh, in a second. One second. As soon as this uh, finishes generating. All right. So it came out uh, illustration and what like, but what I could do is change it. Uh, no. Do you like that shirt? Do you want it to be more 
more simple, more more. No, I like no, I, I like that one. So I see you like, your little uh, variations here. Yeah, exactly. There's three different ones. Um, well, you know what? Um, uh, it's trying to be more. It's trying to look a little more realistic in presentation on here. Let's yeah. um, let's let's try the regular shirt. The regular. What shirt do you mean too. by regular? Well, uh, um, the one with the one without the ripples, the the one that's highlighted in blue. No, not that one. Uh, Over again uh, to your. Then they all have it, but some of them are bigger than others. Oh, you're right. Oh, this I see one, what you're this, this, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one right there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So let's try that. Good eye. You saw that too. <laughs> <laughs> let's do this. Let's copy it and let's just. And let's scale it down so that uh, it fits the T better, but uh, it will look nice though, bro, especially on the mm -hmm. right. Man. Now, Ooh. what I would do is, what I would do is, is uh, I was just designing it, so mm -hmm. I would... Of course, when I really design a logo, I normally would never keep this stuff. In. And I can go in here and clear that up right now if I want to. Mm -hmm. um, but I was just trying to show you placement of it. But it actually kind of looks pretty cool with the lines going through there. Like that, that, that. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> it nice. actually gives no, it a different like, little... That's nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it like that because it kind of gives it a little, a little motion to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Depth yeah. of motion. I like that. I like that. Man, that's fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. Well, hey. Wow. We, there you have it, bro. <laughs> we designed uh, a badge logo. The first here on Designing Laughs. Um, what do you guys think? I like you guys that, just a moment bro. just to take that in. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah like bro, that. we did that, bro. Yes, we did sir. that. I, man, Woo -hoo -hoo. Anything yeah. else you want to say about the logo uh, uh, as a whole? Man, just just to have a starting point and a starting base as to where to go, like that right there. Perfect, perfect. Ooh. And we did it yeah. in how long? Less than 10 minutes, literally. Less than 10 minutes. <laughs> we was making sure we pressed upon it that we get this board done in 10 minutes. Yeah, I no, I like that. I like that. You know, not it's not it's not it's, it's not complex, but it's not even simplified either. It's 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 well within the middle. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Man. I, yeah, I like that, man. Yeah, just, boy, just, <laughs> I made, like that. just made my like day. That. I'm Look, I'm about to go in my refrigerator and pull out my wine from Cooper Hawks and just okay and do a cheers, like do a cheers moment. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm happy with you, bro. Hey, hey man, man, I was a little <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, but we we got it done. That, that's like I said, that's perfect. That's perfect. I like that. I like that. Now there's some folks out there probably seeing that he could have done this, he could have done that. You know, I mean, it, it is what it is, but just for, I like that. I like that. Maybe down the line, maybe some things could change, but a starting point like that in that presentation, I already love it. I already love it. I'm definitely open for, you know, any recommendations or ideas of what we could do down the line. But again, that's just a starting point, And I love what I see. Hey man, thank you, thank you. That's that that means a lot to me, bro. Thank you. I, you go to I school for this? That. Oh, oh, I've been out of school. Oh, this is my. I'm a professional. I'm a graphic designer. Uh, oh, represent sweet. for Death. So uh, yeah, um, you know, yeah. This is a produced uh, by Death. Uh, so, like I said, uh, wow, yeah. man, so Death. That's that's so cool, bro. That's cool. That's so cool. Thank oh man, you, I appreciate you. you. I appreciate your time, and I appreciate that. I, I, I'm amazed. Thank you, thank you, man. Don't hesitate to let people know, man. And uh, oh, we yeah. appreciate you being on the show. Um, 
Once again, thank you to our special guest client today, LaFleur. Hey, man. Uh, to everyone who's watching, uh, we also want to say thank you for being participants and, and, and watching along with us. And hopefully uh, we are keeping you engaged. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes of Design It Labs. Uh, I'm Dev Dog Devin. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, peace!